Right, so hey guys, what is going on? My name is Buhax and welcome to this video. Now today, I'm going to be doing a review on this, the Canon 600D. So this is the exact same camera as what I'm filming to record on now and but this is a not mine but it's the exact same camera so I'm just going to use this one as an example. When I record my videos I usually just have my camera set up on a tripod which is the Amazon Basics one. The Rode Video Mic it might grow in front of it so see there the Rode Video Micro is on a, a, a extension microphone thing and then there we have the camera itself which mine for some reason has lost the um, 600d branding which i don't know how you can do that like how do you lose branding overall it's a good camera and also if you look above my lens it doesn't say canon on it whereas on this one it says canon on it the reason mine doesn't say canon on it is because i've put a bit of tape over it and made it so it doesn't say canon on it so it's more stealth mode so people can identify it as my camera as well so that's it's also cleaner that it doesn't have the 600D and the Canon on it, so then people can't identify it. I could always just pull it off if I wanted to, but I probably wouldn't want to. Um, I, I really love this camera because it has great image quality. I love the um, depth of field that you get with it. Um, so as you saw that I had to focus on the... So I really love the depth field, see how it's blurry there. So now the microphone's in focus there, and now the camera's in focus. That's what you call depth of field. So I really like the fact you can get a shallow depth of field with the certain lenses. This is my Canon 18 to 55 millimeter. The one I'm using is also an 18 to 55 millimeter, but this is a different version, which has image stabilization. So when I was using my, the camera to vlog with, it was much cleaner to vlog with and bounce around and stuff. If we take a look at some of the features of the camera, which I'm going to move this camera now to show you, and I'm going to show you on this camera. Yeah, so all the pictures and stuff that you've seen on like my Instagram, like the at by Ben Brown one, they were all taken on this camera. The one that's got my A roll, this is my B roll camera. They were all taken on that camera, so I think it's quite spectacular to think that now I'm giving you my opinion and my feedback on it. If we take a look at the camera, we can see that it's got a very nice build quality to it and it has a expandable screen which could be used for vlogging and things like that as you can see it fits perfectly in my hands got a nice weight to it so if we take a look around the camera obviously we have the three inch lcd screen which i'm not sure what resolution is it's like a so a, however many dot resolution see it's got this nice canon eos strap which mine doesn't have on top of the camera we have a hot shoe adapter which is where you plug things like the microphone which i'm talking into right now we have the mode dial we have video a lot of other auto modes and intelli scene intelligence and manual mode we have the iso button iso is basically like the brightness filter in photoshop we have the display mode which i don't know what that does be quite on frank have the slack the dial so this if you're in video mode it'll change things like the um, shutter speed and then there we have the shutter button so then it takes a picture on the back of the camera we have the menu button which takes you into into the menu as the name suggests we have the info button so that shows what shows on screen i obviously i have a thing called magic lantern installed on my SD cards which I've which is on the SD card which is in this camera this is not my camera but I still managed to get it to work with um, Magic Lantern which is good on the back side of the camera we have the eye cup which mine has lost I could easily quite quite easily just take that one off there but I'm not going to now we have the move record button the designated record button which is always nice we have the AV mode which will be the 
aperture so I could change the aperture which is how wide open the lens is we have the Q button which means we can change like the autofocus mode so we have a live mode which does not work on this camera unfortunately or it does we have to set the lens to autofocus and then we hold the shutter button half the way which I don't like doing I prefer to keep it in manual mode underneath that we have the WB button which is white balance and it also move, it moves the focus box we have the autofocus button which also moves the box but I think you have to do some laid function to get it to do the autofocus the timer mode which you have to be in manual mode for right we'll do it in manual mode so back to the screen um, if we we also have the OK button which selects the thing. We have the playback menu. And we also have the delete button which if you're just on the normal page that'll just take you to the magic lantern thing. But if you're in like this mode you just press delete and then you can delete your items. Up here we have the magic zoom in so you can get better focus. So, And to be honest I don't know what this other button does. It just gets rid of that box as far as I can tell. And then um, we turn the camera off just for ease. On this side here, we have the SD card slot, which is a single one, which has my second SD card in it. On the bottom, we have the battery door, which you can remove and then put like a um, grip on, which I never knew you could do. The first time I did it, I shh, poop my pants. I didn't know this is the Canon LPE blend uh, blends battery I have four of them this is the one that came with this camera the one I'm borrowing and then there we have the tripod hole where you can mount it to a tripod and we have like serial information I don't know what that hole does but I think it's got something to do with the lens on the actual front of it we have the autofocus thing we have that thing which I don't know what it does we have where the lens is and all the branding and we have the pop-up flash and then a custom function button which i don't have set up and i don't think this camera has set up either so when you want to put a lens on you just match up the white dot some lenses it'll have a red dot so that's why it has a red dot on there so then you line up the white dot with a white dot put it on turn until it clicks and that white box will pretty much always be where the little button is there and then on the side we have where the microphone goes in and I think it's a flash, but I'm not sure. Push them in. I don't like them doors. I wish you could remove them like you can do the battery door, but I don't think you can. And there we have the USB port and the HDMI port, which is a micro or mini HDMI, which I don't have a clue. I do have one of them cables. In fact, I have a cable and an adapter. So all the quality, all the video that you have seen since about Christmas time has been done on this Canon 600D that you're watching this B-roll from, which is mine. This one is... Um, somewhere else's and this is school's sigma 55 to 200 mil lens i like for outdoorsy type photographer but i don't know it's just not the lens for me also if you're wondering where the pop-up flash is it's there um i don't know if there is a way to get it to open also i'm not going to do like a comprehensive like what all these things mean necessarily in this video i'll probably do that another time um, we press the aperture, we change it down to 3.5 ISO, we always want to set about 100. It also has an optical viewfinder which you won't be able to look through, probably. Um, I like it, but it only works like in the um, picture modes, which is quite upsetting because the screen is so small. Also, every time you turn it off, it has this sensor cleaning thing, which I don't know why. And also, if you look at this camera in certain lighting conditions, you can see that it has like a bit of burn on it, so I don't know what that is, but I'm glad it's not on mine. It looks like somebody's burnt it with a lighter, so that can't be good. So guys, I know the scenery has changed, but that's because I've done all the B-roll and stuff, like the cinematics with the lighting and stuff. Overall, I would recommend this camera, but at the same time I wouldn't because it came out in like 2011. There's better options, this one is obviously discontinued, the 650D is also discontinued. Um, you can get the 700D for around £400, 750D of about £500, these are all without lenses. Now the 800D is out, so I think, I've seen a seller on eBay, which I don't know if it's legit or not. There's a guy selling the 800D on eBay, lens o uh, body only, £469. If you was to buy it from a shop, body only, it'd be about £800, so if you can get it for... 
about 470, that is a pretty good deal. Um, the, the only downside I have actually seen to this camera is that it doesn't have autofocus during video. Like, it does if you're not recording, but whilst you're recording, it will not focus on whatever's in front of it. You have to focus it yourself, which for somebody like me who just does sit down stuff or stand up stuff whenever, um, it's okay, to be fair, but that's why sometimes I might move forward and then I'll be out of focus, or I might move backwards and then I'll be out of focus, but um, when I pretty much stay the same, I should be okay. Overall, I'm going to give this camera, for especially for 2011, I'm going to give it a solid 8.5 stars. For 2017, I'm going to give it a solid 7.5 stars, again, only because of the autofocus, but then again, thinking about it, would you rather get a mirrorless camera, you could get the, probably the A65, let me have another look. You can buy a 4K camera, which will have autofocus, um, for £500, which is like the cheapest one that's not. There is a second hand one for 470 but it's got £30 postage, so it's still £500. So yes, I would recommend getting this camera if you are starting out on say YouTube or f just starting out in photography it's a good camera for that I'm doing an advert for a scaffolding company um, I did a video for the London drip which was used on the school's website and I also did one for the sports day which I don't know what they're doing with um, so yeah if it can produce adverts for multi thousand pound companies I'm pretty sure it can be used for starting out taking pictures it is good quality also another thing i should probably mention is you might need some spare batteries that is why the clip randomly cut then because the battery died uh, these are you just get i got free for free and and another charger for 17 pounds but yeah that is going to wrap it up for this review if you're on a budget you can get it second hand from cex i paid 200 and something for mine i can't remember exactly the lens is about 30 40 about 30 40 quid from cex as well and uh, the microphone was 50 if you are using video i would recommend getting a um external microphone like the road video mic micro I'll tell you what accessories i want to get for my canon uh, for my camera i want to get the canon 10 to 18 millimeter lens that would mean i'd be able to do it for vlogging I would love to get the Rode Video Mic Pro because then I don't have the horrible hiss in the background which may be prevalent in these videos currently. However, I've decided to move the microphone a lot closer to me so it's about about 20 centimeters away from my mouth so hopefully the hiss is reduced. If you have enjoyed this video, be sure to let me know by leaving a big fat like on it. If you want to see more from me, be sure to subscribe. So yes, I'm BB Hacks and I am signing off. It's caught in the crossfire I trained my luck to know Why he's caught in the crossfire